Hey guys, welcome back to Balls Fan TV, and today we're doing the match preview for tomorrow's game against Derry at the Brandywell. Um, yeah, tough game um, against a, a good Derry side, there's no denying that, um, you know, despite you know, them, them being slightly inconsistent this season, maybe with their performances and certain results, I think they're, they're still a good side, obviously. Um, and we're going to the Brandy Well, obviously, on the back of a pretty poor defeat against Galway in a game where we didn't play well. Um, never got going from the start, really. Um, didn't show enough to win the game. Didn't show enough intent. Didn't show enough endeavour or hard work, really, to to, uh, to get the three points. Okay, yeah, Galway get a goal. We try, I suppose, in a, in a way to... to, to you know, break them down. Obviously, they they got down a man in the second half, um, and even even at that point, we were we were still pretty hopeless. Really, we were we were putting needless balls into the box, no one getting the on the end of, of them. And yeah, it was it was a really disappointing defeat and performance. But look, we got to you know we, we can put that behind us now, and we can look ahead to this one um, in a game. You know where it, yeah, look, it's, it's tough. You know, I think I think for me anyway, the Brandy Wells is a really hard place to go and get, you know, and get a win. It's just the journey. Obviously, it, it's it's long and it's, it, yeah, you know, it's not a great pitch up in the Brandy Well. You know, we, you know, albeit it's you know it's it's a, an artificial pitch, but look, it's um, it, it's it's. It's a tough game. Our record up there isn't isn't the best leader. I think yeah, look, we won there last season. Um, I can count. I can remember a lot of times we, we lost there. You know, we got a few draws there as well in recent seasons. So yeah, look, I'm, I'm I think you, you you have to be a little bit optimistic because you're you're hoping for a reaction. But look, are we going to get it? I don't know. Um, let's have to wait and see. I suppose. But look, it's it's up to the players now to. Go out on the pitch. I'm sure Reynolds would have got stuck into them this week, trained them hard, and, and, and let them know about, uh, you know, how, how disappointed uh, Monday was, and, and how we need to come out here and show a strong response. Um, but yeah, look, I suppose I'm going to be ridiculous into me uh, into me team now. Uh, I think it'll be Casper and Goal. Um, I don't think, yeah, but maybe some might blame him for the goal on Monday. I don't think he could do a whole lot about it. Really, it's 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 a strong hit. Um, doesn't quite get a strong enough hand to it. it. It just sort of ends up bouncing into the net. Um, and yeah, look, it's it's, it's um disappointing from his point of view because he's been brilliant for us this season. Probably arguably, arguably uh, been our best player, and you know it's it's it's. That's a hard one to take from making a, a minor error, I suppose, even though I don't think it's a, it's a huge error. I'm sure some people see it that way, but I, I don't think it's, it's a big you know, hiccup from him, really. I think he'll, he'll bounce back from it. But, yeah, I think this season he's been outstanding. He's, he's been our number one, so he'll, he'll, he'll stay that way. Um, right back, I think Madison has to come back in. No offence to Lallander, but it wasn't his best game on, on Monday in the first half. I think Madison, when you see it, when... when um, when he's playing right back, um, I think he makes the difference. I think you can you can see, um, you can see the difference between him and Lallander. So I'm going to go with uh, Madison at right back. Uh, two centre halves. Uh, I'm going to go. I'm going to stick with Kate and, and Mills. I don't think they've done a whole lot wrong. Um, I don't think there was much they could do for in the. Uh, I don't think they did much wrong in, in the uh, in the in the Galway game. Um, didn't didn't have a whole lot defending to do. Look, I know. Questions have been asked of, of Kate, maybe in particular, is he a good enough footballer playing the league? Um, look, that that doesn't really matter when you're a centre half, as long as you're going to be doing the basics right. That's that's fine by me, and I think that's what he does quite well. So, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with Mills and Kate as the two centre halves. Uh, left back, Paddy Kirk is actually suspended for his game, so we do have a little bit of a, a decision to make on this one. I'm, I think I'm gonna have to go with Flores. Really, I think. Um, Although it's disappointing, we have no one else there, really, don't we? So, yeah, I think Flores already had to fill in at left back with, with Paddy's uh, suspension. Uh, moving into midfield, uh, I'm going to go with James McMahon. It's not a McDonald's, it's the two sitting. Um, yeah, look, I think midfield against Galway was it was a little bit non existent, though I thought he left a lot of space at times. He didn't really contribute enough going forward. And we see from McDonald and Flores this season that he can actually contribute to things going forward. And Flores, we know, is a smashing player. Um, McDonald, you know, he, he, he's normally getting stuck in and flying the tackles, but we didn't really see that from um, in, in the, in the, uh, the Galway game. So, yeah, look. I think we need to see a bit better from the midfield. McMahon is really in particular because we know how great of a player he is. You know, he's, he's a smashing young talent. He's linked with Mills across the water, uh, and rightly so. He's, he's a brilliant uh, young talent. And 
on his day, he's, he's, he's outstanding. But I think he probably hasn't got a consistent enough run in the team, I suppose, now that Kirk is suspended and we're probably going to see Flores get in at left back. It's a good opportunity for him to go in alongside McDonald and, and show what he's all about and, and show why he should be starting week in, week out. So, obviously, he, he can uh, prove something to Reynolds and, and, and he, he can claim a spot in the team consistently. Um, on to the, le- the left-hand side, I'm going to go with Akintunde. Um and this is, this is uh, because I want to have his check up front. I think both of them up front together give us that bit of a physical edge, I suppose. Um, you know, I think going forward, maybe we need to see a little bit more from the players. Obviously, some people might say I can put on the left. It's not exactly you know his natural position. Maybe he's better as a centre forward. But I think. No, it it can you no know, interchange. I suppose you can't have uh, at times maybe out possession. Um, uh, Akintunde and Pizjek sort of moving in as two strikers. Um, and you know that that could work. You know, a bit of physicality, a bit you know, try something new to up top. You know, could give us a bit more quality going forward. Um, I know that's what some people were calling for after Galway. Why don't we try something new? Go two up top, maybe see how you know how that works. And you know, it could, it could be a good show. You never know. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go with Akintunde on the left and Pizjek in front, but. Maybe some interchange in there, uh, out of possession. Uh, on the right, I'm gonna go with Dale Rooney. I think I don't believe he was he was injured for the Galway game. I think that was mainly down to the fact that he was rested. Um, so obviously for me he comes back in. Um, probably been one of our standouts this season. Um, in terms of his performances. Um. We talk every week about set piece delivery that could be crucial. You know, it's it's gonna be a game where I feel we may have to do a bit of you know. You know, a lot of hard work maybe to, to get a result, and I think his his you know his set piece is could count. You know, a great deal for us in this game. So, yeah, I'd, I'd have him back out, out on the right. Um, yeah, look, it's hard to really do a prediction because you, you just don't know how the, how these games are going to go in the league this season. Um, look, you know, we need to see a huge response from the lads from uh, from Monday night or evening anyway. That's for sure. Um performance wasn't good enough um, we didn't offer enough of ourselves going forward um, defending you know yeah we didn't really have a whole lot to do but that, that you know, we, we can obviously have a bit improving all over the pitch really and, and look Reynolds you know obviously he's brought O'Donnell in there was his assistant obviously he's probably only had a, a day now really to work with the lads so he's not going to be really in, have much input but I'm sure he can watch from afar maybe then Tim can come up with some sort of plan to you know, help us get something from this game. Look, Derry are a good side. They're, you know, they're very strong at the Brandy well. They've got good players. Um, you know, Pat Pat Hilburn, of course. Look, he's a top goal scorer with nine goals. You know, scores goals are fun in this league and has done for, for many years now. Um, you know, Mac Mullen, the, you know, he, he's a real tricky player, we think. Um, you know, you, Michael Duffy, you know, I know he's probably regressed a tiny bit maybe over the last couple of seasons but on his day he's still a smashing player you know they and they're strong at home look you don't really normally you don't really see them getting turned over at the brandy well um you know rory higgins yeah he's coming for a little bit of pressure this season you know certain results haven't gone their way you know performances maybe haven't been up to scratch but you know he's still done a pretty good job there i think and they are really tough enough to crack at, at the brandy well um but look i think Reynolds has got a little bit of um, resilience out with, the, out with the players, you know, since he's come in. I think that that's that's a good thing, of course. Um, not something that we didn't probably see enough of in the early stages of the season. Um, and, and now since he's since he's come in, we've seen a little bit of resilience back in the lads. And yeah, look, once we haven't seen it in some games, like you think of the game on Monday and the Dundalk game as well. You know, we didn't probably see the same amount of work rate that we saw in the other game against Dundalk, the draw of the game, the Shells game. But look, I think we need to see one of those performances again where, yeah, it mightn't be pretty. We might have our backs against the wall at times. But look, we need to dig in deep and, and, and grind out results. Get so, get a goal from somewhere. Look, I don't care if it comes off someone's arse. Look, as long as you get a win, as long as you get a goal and, and get a positive result. Um, but in terms of a prediction, I don't know. I think I, I think we might grind out a solid enough nil nil. I think that's how we can see the game going. I think Derry might have that the lion share position. I think we might try and sit back and make it difficult. You know, use the the counter to our advantage. You know, we will have players like Danny Grant and Conley on the bench who can come on and make you know McDade as well and can make a bit of a difference. I think that's what we might try and target. You know, set pieces, counter attack, and look, there's nothing wrong playing like that. You know, I think if we are, I won't say we're a limited side, but I don't think we have the quality that maybe Derry do and being away from home I think we might have to try and, and, and be a bit more conservative and, and you know uh, 
try and grind out a result. But yeah, look, I'd probably take a point. I think if we could, if we saw a solid performance where the players were, were committed and, and engaged and, and put in a, a, a strong show, and I think we'd be pretty happy with a, a nil all or, or any sort of point. Or look, if we can get a win, that'd be an amazing win as well because. You know, not many teams have gone to the Brandywell this season. I've won and I've gone. We have and Rovers, but other than that, they, they, I think they've basically won every home game. So yeah, it's 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 going to be a, a tough ask. Look, all we all we can we hope the players will show on uh, or tomorrow is is that bit of fight um, and, and 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 a strong reaction from from Monday's game. So yeah, look, that's where I'll end it. Make sure you like, subscribe, share, comment down below what you're thinking heading into this game. We'll score predictions, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.